Good morning. Let us sing together number 202. We gather together.
My friends, we have much to be thankful for in our lives, even our country and our world. So this is a day we put aside everything else, and we do give thanks to our God for the gift of his presence among us, the gift of his Son to redeem us, and his Spirit to forever guide us. Let's be prepared to hear the word of God, to receive the very presence of Christ in the Eucharist, by asking God's forgiveness for all those times we sin. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us and hold us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy. And forgive us our sins and bring us all an everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father all powerful, your gifts of love are countless and your goodness infinite. As we come before you on Thanksgiving Day with gratitude for your kindness, open our hearts to have concern for every woman, man, and child, so that we may share your gifts in love and service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. <clears throat> in reading from the book of Syriac, God of all, who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth in their mother's womb, and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart, and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel, and to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness and love. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness and love. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship your holy temple. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness and love. I will give thanks to your name because of your kindness and your truth. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness and love. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness So reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Sisters and brothers, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift, as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you are called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of Thanks be to God.
The 72 returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that very moment, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to his disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desire to see what you see, but did not hear it. And to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I read this article where the, the, the headline itself just, just caught my eye. It said, when Thanksgiving was Franksgiving. Now, if I understood it correctly, I read the article. In 1939, President Franklin Roosevelt declared that Thanksgiving would be celebrated a week early. Well, since, the, since April Lincoln, Thanksgiving was always held on the last Thursday of November. But apparently back then, 1939, the retailers were complaining that such a practice abbreviated the Christmas shopping season and it cut into sales. So that year, only about half of the governors in the 48 states, including Pennsylvania, only half went along with it. Apparently it became a huge political divide back then. Amazing. To me, what really struck a chord, they, they quoted a Presbyterian minister, Reverend Ralph McCaffrey. Uh, he had this to say. It is more than unfortunate that Thanksgiving appears to have succumbed, along with other interests, to commercialization. Thanksgiving long has been thought of as an occasion to give gratitude to God for his greatness. If how we as a nation are to be invited to use this day as the official commencement of the Christmas shopping period, the spiritual value of the day will be largely lost. Those are powerful words spoken over 80 years ago. It was a problem back then. I think we need, need to hear more now than ever before. This is a day not to begin shopping. It's a day to celebrate what God has given to us. Jesus had sent out a further 72. Not just to do his mission, he sent them out really to be his ambassadors. They were to go in all directions, and not just perform the works of Jesus, or just use or teach the words of Jesus. They were to become Jesus for everyone that they met along the way. They were to recognize how much the Lord and Savior was a part of them, so much so that whoever would encounter them would also encounter the Lord himself. And when people would come to know Jesus, then they would come to experience the very kingdom of God. So Jesus sent out these 72 other disciples so that all those people would come to know the kingdom of his Father. In this passage, from, I think it's Matthew, they, they return rejoicing. They turned rejoicing at what strength and power that they had because of their devotion to the Lord. And they began to understand their new roles as disciples. 
So Jesus then gives praise to God and thanks to him for the truth of his word has been understood by the ones to whom it was given. Not the Pharisees, the scribes, or the elders of the Jewish people, but to these 72 disciples, especially the 12, who were nothing more than fishermen, carpenters, laborers, even tax collectors. People who were not burdened by the twisted knowledge of the law. These disciples were the childlike, simple people with open hearts, open to know and understand the power and the strength that they could have in life if they accepted and understood the power and the strength of Jesus. So Jesus is so thankful to his Father for his mission was working and it began to take a root. They were beginning to understand so when we gather at our dinner tables today, let us give a prayer of thanks, true prayer of thanksgiving to God for empowering us to be his disciples in this difficult world. Yes, there's, these, are, these are tough times. Yes, we just had a rough election. There's still a lot of division and everything else going on. But we have our God. We have the power of his Son. We have the very presence of the Holy Spirit, and we have each other. We have all we need to continue to make Christ's mission work. We have much to be thankful for, and there is still so much need in the world. So between these two extremes is our faith, simple, real faith, and the possibilities of what we can do with it. So let's make it simple. Forget the shot. Let's give thanks to God for all that he's given to us. And may we do whatever we can to make these gifts to make someone else's life more peaceful and more holy. Blessed are the eyes that see what we see and to hear what we hear. I wish you all God's peace. to stand up for our prayers and petition. United as one voice, let us bring our prayers to our loving Father. For the church and her mission to preach the gospel throughout the whole world, may the Holy Spirit continue to bless and sanctify her. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For civic leaders in our communities and throughout our country, May God's wisdom shape the decisions they make for the greater good. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those who protect our country, those in our military, our police officers, our firefighters, our first responders, may our prayers give them strength and protection. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who suffer from anxiety and depression, may God give them courage and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord For our faith and community and our journey as disciples, may God strengthen us in our baptismal care to share the gospel with others. We pray to the Lord. Lord For all those who have passed from this life, may God shine his face upon them and grant them eternal peace. Let's pray for all the families who are celebrating Thanksgiving for the first time without their loved ones. We pray to the Lord. For all those intentions known only to God. For these, we pray to the Lord. Lord Let us offer to our prayer to our Blessed Mother, who is the patroness of the United States. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty Father, we humbly bring our prayers before you. Hear and answer these prayers that we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of prayer. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and good of all. God, our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gifts so that we might learn to share your blessings and gratitude, accept these gifts of bread and wine and let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus Draw us closer to all of our sisters and brothers in the human family. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, the Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. And Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, you have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom, a gift that calls forth responsibility and commitment to the truth that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Jesus, through his death and resurrection, we find your ultimate redemption freedom from sin and every blessing. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we are clean. Suffer, 
On the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, and he said the blessing, and he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and he gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you in front. Of you. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Lawrence our Bishop, both the bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the entire people who have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our sisters and brothers, Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, those that have died in the service of the United States and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your faiths and in the resurrection. Give them the fullness of life. Grant us for us when earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, the patroness of the United States, with Joseph, the beloved husband, with the apostles and martyrs, Saint Tobias and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you to Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our glory are yours. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant for peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share that peace with each other.
Let us pray. In this celebration, O Lord our God, you have shown us the depths of your love for all your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all your people, so that we may share with them the good things of time and eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm heading up to uh, my brother's after Mass for dinner. He's cooking. Got a few priests coming, and my brothers will be there. Uh, so I've heard down to Turkey before, but I, in the morning paper, the kids were suggesting how to cook. And there's one kid in the garden who suggests put the oven at 500 degrees and put the turkey in for 400 hours. So I'll, I'll try that next year and see if that, see if that works. Hope you guys have a great day. The Lord be with you. And mighty God bless us all. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is that we go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our closing song is, is Now Thank We All Our God. I'll give you the number in a minute. <coughs> 200, number 200. Yeah.